some lost conquistadors were here. We found their ancient fire. We felt the ashes, they're still warm, still burning with desire. We heard their ghost hearts beat, they still seek the gold for the Spanish crown. You are my treasure, this is my sacred ground. Leaving behind me all that I know For the river of fire Touching your body, touching my soul In the river of fire In El Rio de Fuego Well, this is my sacred ground. My grandparents came out here from Elyria, Ohio in 1940 and they built three adobe houses uh, right out of the earth in the uh, Tucson mountain foothills. And we used to come out and visit them all the time. My brother Mike and I and my sister Penny and my family from Clayton, New Mexico. And... Um, we love Tucson. We got to love Tucson in the desert. And and uh, every time we'd come out to visit, my brother and I would, we would roam the arroyos and roam the desert, uh, the uh, foothills and the under the, under the saguaros and and uh, look for anything we could find that was magical and mysterious and wild and dangerous and like uh, rattlesnakes and arrowheads and conquistador trash from when the uh, Spanish explorers came up through here to go into the uh, seven cities of gold and even fire rings from from uh, ancient tribes that, that uh, came through here wandering. Um, and so uh, so we became desert boys. And, and I fell in love with the Sonoran Desert then when I was a kid. But I also fell in love with music when I was out here in Tucson, when I heard Marty Robbins sing. Down in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. And when I heard that song, I went into a dream and I never came out. And I thought, I thought, you know, maybe one of these days I could, I could write a song like El Paso. And maybe I could sing like Marty Robbins. And, and so then from, from that time on, music became like more and more a part of my life. And uh, I formed a little Everly Brothers duo with Mike Jenkins in and, and middle school. And then I formed a, I had a little rock group called the Blue Triads with Bob Mallory. And then I had a folk duo with, with uh, Ann McGuffin. And we played at Hal's Steakhouse in Portales, New Mexico, and were really kind of cool. And then, and then in college, I had um, I had a rock band called the Grim Reapers. And then when I got out of college, um, I went to uh, I got married, and I moved to Hanford, California, a little farming community in in the San Joaquin Valley, and I began to teach English there. And and, and that was the trajectory of my life at that point. My brother, on the other hand, he he was an engineer in college, and he was uh, he was a lot smarter than me, and and he was uh, he loved flying, and he became a he became a pilot, and he joined the navy so that uh, he could fly jets, and but he didn't count on the Vietnam War, and he he told me that he didn't think he could bomb anybody, and. He didn't know what he was going to do about it, and he was about to be deployed. And so shortly after that, uh, he was killed in a, um, in a, uh, when his jet crashed during uh, nighttime maneuvers off the carrier Ticonderoga, and his body was never found. And, and I never found a way to really to deal with that. Uh, it was, um, I was deeply impacted by his death, not only because he was my brother, but 
but because uh, just before he died, I was drafted, and I didn't have to go into the into the war because he died, and he was uh, I was the last remaining son in a family who's other son was killed in the war and so in this kind of supreme irony i i was freed by his death and and so i quit teaching i was into my second year i quit teaching and uh never taught again i drugged my poor wife out to louisville kentucky and joined a folklore group out there called the house of atreus and uh, we toured for several months and until she couldn't take it anymore, and then she went back to California. We got a divorce, and and then I uh, I played with him for a while longer, and then just went out on my own. And many years later, here I am in Tucson. I'm living on the same land that my grandparents had out in the Tucson mountains, and I'm tending it and protecting it in the in the same way that they did. And we moved here. We moved here in 19, uh, on Thanksgiving Day in 1993. My wife, Joe, and my son, Will, who was four years old at the time, and uh, had a truckload of stuff. And, uh, and I, had, um, I had a lot of baggage that I brought with me here to Tucson, a lot of emotional baggage from all of my years in, out uh, trying to make it in the music industry. And, um, and I also had a lot of songs that uh, from those years that I didn't really know what to do with. Songs like uh, like Tokyo Convertible. I want to be your Tokyo Convertible. I want to have fun with you. I just love going through the motion. I just love going through the motion. And that, you know, there's nothing wrong with that song. It's a fun song, but, um, and I got it into a movie. But, but I was tired of writing songs like that. I wanted to do something different. And uh, uh, I felt like, you know, but when, when my brother was killed, I, um, I kind of found my voice. And then in the ensuing years, I lost it. And when I came back to Tucson, I found it again. Not only because I came home, I felt like I was coming home again, but also I became... I, I kind of walked into this incredible music community in Tucson, diverse and, and uh, profound and uh, all-embracing. And, uh, and I, thought, I thought for the first time in my life, I sort of became woven into the fabric of a music community here in Tucson. And, uh, and I began to write differently. I began to write... And I felt like uh, I started again writing from the heart because of being here in Tucson. And shortly after I got here, I wrote a song called 41 Crosses. And it's one of the songs that, uh, of, of my, uh, the songs that I've written out here. It's the one that means the most to me. And it's a song that uh, I really enjoy playing a lot. It's about the Sonoran Desert. It's about my wife, my son. It's about Tucson, and it's also it's about my um, it's about my brother, because it was the um, it was the first song I ever wrote about him, and uh, and being here in Tucson I think allowed me to do that. So so I was driving one day. One afternoon, going down to uh, going down to the Oregon State National Monument, and uh, my son was in a car. It was raining. It was in the middle of the afternoon. It was really beautiful. Everybody here knows what it's like to be out in the rain in Tucson. And we were driving through cells in three points with uh, with that magical mountain Baba Kivari in the distance, and and uh, going through three points in cells, and there were there were all these crosses on the road, as you as you know, and um, and I started thinking about my brother and this song 
came up for me. It's called 41 Crosses. Windshield wipers are cutting across my view. I had to turn the headlights on in the, the middle of the afternoon, and there, there ain't no other cars around. I'm driving through the desert with my windows down, and I saw 41 crosses on. The road to sales Rain jobs Dripping off old church bells It looks like this road Might never end Oh well Well sometimes ain't Life just hell And there were Flowers growing all along the road. Lots of beautiful horses with their heads down low. And over on the mountain, I saw a rainbow die. Reminds me just how fast life goes by. And I saw 41 crosses on. The road to sales Raindrops Dripping Of old church bells It looks like this road Might never end Oh well Well sometimes ain't Life just very much. Thanks, TED Talk and, and uh, Mary and Linda and everybody who put this together. Thank you so much for giving us a, an opportunity to celebrate the Tucson Sound. For me, the Tucson Sound is the sound of the heart. Thank you. <laughs>